Taking a really decent position on the side. A grenade will be coming out pretty close to Rox. Going into the cup. Ooh, that's a risky move. Rox, I'm not a fan of it. And that's going to be instantly punished by Satan of T1. So we'll have to wait to see as the blue zone is closing in on phase two. This fight has gone on for far too long. That's another knockdown onto Galaxy Racer Cells. T1 just closed it out. Put them out of their misery. MJ, MJ the 1v4 machine taken out. Dude, actually, two of T1 on the other side. And that's going to try his best. Yundren going to be joining the party. Missile and Yundren still alive. Lie, but MJ, I think this is your golden time to strike. If you don't, you might actually lose that opportunity. Can you get the 1v4? Oh, it's not oh, oh, oh. to a 1v1. MJ, can he make another 1v4 happen? This guy is absolutely legendary in the scene of PMWL East. And can he make it happen once again? Can he prove himself why he is the 1v4 clutch god? Missile going to be pretty low himself. They're taking down because of the phase on Blue Zone. Missile gets the angle for a split second. He will get the elimination onto MJ and the entirety of Galaxy Race itself. So that was a damn close call. Right now, Blank, you can see the armor low on Fredo there. They've had to make a few difficult rotations now, but it's three versus three pitched warfare. Circle will start to constrict. It will continue to constrict until there is nothing left. Oh, nade. First nade is great. It's from GXR Seltz. That's a nice one onto Jumpo. Jumpo goes down. Two players for Yudu Gank remaining. Pushing in a second. Mamparang has to swing in towards the rest of the zone. Another knock goes through for GXR Seltz, but it's traded one for one. I didn't even catch you. What it was GXR Seltz to be able to wipe out Yudu Gank from the other side of the road. The first nade paying off huge for them. IND Trans there down below, and yeah, exactly, I think this might come down to a war of attrition towards the end, although everyone has been snarling at one another. You think that the patient, the, the, Here comes France, kill, oh, yo. You think that the patient, non, the peaceful member, Huosh1 towards the top of the building might come out on top. Oh, no. But it's Jonathan take a knock from Varus the murder here. Neo is trying to take down Goddard, but it's not working out. Scout comes out from nowhere, and that's TSM Entity eliminated. Oh, Goddard trades it, goes very low to the blue, will get eliminated. And now it's just two teams. You level up. They have one player, and there were like nine teams remaining. And now it's just Huashuan on the top side. Gil is standing. Who has more meds? Right now, Gil is just... Gil's actually started surviving the blue. First Huashuan just There's goes no down. Okay, Gil wasn't even in the blue there, and it is Orange Rock. Me Megastars connecting onto Team IND. Team IND rotated from Military Island. They got in towards the hills outside Pachinki, but they have a clash together right now with Megastars. But Slayer knocks down swag. Like our Team IND are playing around this fight. They're trying to suffocate Megastars and hold them in position so they can't really fight back. But talking about fighting back, Paradox is going to be doing just that. Instantly getting a kill onto Slayer. Going to be confirming it out, confirming an extra kill. They do explode the card. That's going to get rid of Encore of Megastars and Team ID now down to two players. That's going to be 420 OP and also Snacks. But Megastar's very, very spread and leaving Vexy alone there down below. But in also Ooh. a little bit of a dip, grenades could be his downfall. Very close call from 420 OP. If he can get to the other side to get the revive on the swag, that'd be actually not just as say that. Stop jinxing him here and stop this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Feels bad, man. Even though Trance is knocked down and Megastars get taken. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>